is Radiohead finished, kaput, done, closing the book on it all? Maybe, maybe not. Let's talk about it. This is Not Every Single. I'm Joe. And I'm Stephanie. Usually on this channel, we talk about specific albums or specific singles. Lately, we've been trying to, to open it up to other topics of conversation. And something I really wanted to talk about, because I'm hearing it a lot around the internet, is where is Radiohead? And uh, I wanted to talk about that I, I mean isn't it the eternal question though like every time <laughs> every radiohead time. puts out an album then until they put out another album is radiohead gonna come back right are they coming back oh yeah i remember this <laughs> after in rainbows in 2007 <laughs> i was like 17 and thinking like what if they're done like they they fulfilled their record contract they put this out as like a gift to the fans what if that's it tom york's got his solo stuff like does there need to be Radiohead anymore? And then that excruciating wait all the way to 2010 and King of Limbs comes out. Underrated. Underrated. Super good. And super short. Yeah, we saw that. We saw them on tour for that album and it was fantastic. We stood in front yeah. of Johnny. Yeah. I've seen Radiohead three times. You've seen them twice. Twice. So, you know, we're big fans. Follow the band. Um, I don't, not nearly, I, no one can follow the band as closely as you do, except for the <laughs> online people. Yeah. Your, your, your peers <laughs> in the Radiohead fandom. I remember being on dead air space forums and, and theorizing because, uh, everyone thought the wall of ice EP was coming out after the, these are my twisted words song was leaked onto the internet. AKA radio had put it on the internet. Mm -hmm. So there's always a lot of theorizing, always a lot of speculation with this band. And especially now that it's been since 2016 that they put out songs. They well, and they an do album. tend to leave a lot of breadcrumbs and do like kind of ARG type stuff sometimes. Too. So like they kind of let their fans know mm -hmm. when something's going to happen, which has two effects. One is like, okay, cool. I know that a Radiohead thing's coming out and I'm super excited and people freak out forever. Or just a normal thing happens and people read into it. Usually it's <laughs> they're updating the merch store. Yeah. And so the like, website goes wonky for like yeah. 12 hours and people are like, oh my God, new album, new tour. This is going to be amazing. Or they like change a graphic on something. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, when they're leading up to it, really leading up to an album, like you'll know. They'll do something weird and something cool, but it's been since 2018 that they were even playing shows, mm -hmm. and we saw that tour. It was a great tour. Yep. Seems like a long time ago. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Yeah, and we saw them in Seattle, and we we're still living, living in Seattle. Well, we were still living there like eight months ago, so that's <laughs> <laughs> So where is Radiohead? Well, obviously, Tom York and Johnny Greenwood have their new project called The Smile, and they're currently on a tour, and they have a, an album out. And Ed, he does his solo stuff. He had a, Yeah, when that, I guess that was a couple years ago at this point. He had EOB, mm -hmm. Ed O'Brien. Um, I think he's doing another one. Oh, okay. I just, rem I don't know. I think I remember hearing something about that. And uh, Colin is actually touring as the bassist with Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. So clearly... Radiohead is done forever. Done forever. They'll never come. The, those projects will last forever <laughs> and never end. Yeah, I mean, that's what everyone jumps to, right? It's the big topic of conversation. They're done. They did 10. They're never coming back. Well, maybe they're right. Because here's the thing. I think 10 is a nice round number to end it on. I think a moon-shaped pool is a perfect record to end it on. And if they did come back and do do an eleventh record, I don't know. I have a hard time wrapping my head around like what more do they have to do? What more does this band have to say? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they seem to be like, you know, they're they're still great. It's not, you know, it's not as like, you know, Kid A and OK Computer were like these really landmark albums that yeah. like changed a lot of things and changed the way people thought about rock music and mm -hmm. and music in general. And they're not going to, probably not going to put another album out that like changes the entire landscape of music again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and I think 
you know, moon shaped pool, when it came out, it still made a huge splash right. and was a big deal. But yeah, like you're saying, it's far from the bigness of Kid A. Now, that's not to say that every record needs to be this mm-hmm. monumental, cultural s- shifting smash hit for it to exist. But I just, I think about Moon Shape Pool and what's being said on that record and its thoughts on on life, on death, on things coming full circle. I mean, look at the album cover. Think about True Love Waits finally making its way to an album when it's a song they've been working on since like the Benz. Mm-hmm. It there is this fine finality finality to it, and it makes sense that it would be their last record. Does that mean they'll never tour again? Probably. I I imagine they'll tour. Of course, I think they'll tour. And I don't, you know, I don't necessarily think like people read so much into everything they do, and certainly they like. Um, they put a lot of thought into everything more so than a lot of bands do. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things, if you like dig into it in the lore, like there are things that you can uncover. Yeah. Um, but I don't necessarily know that they like think that way. You know what I mean? No. And we're going to cite this interview with Ed O'Brien and I should have the, I should have had the article pulled up. So I could say where it was from and cite our sources. I guess I'll do that in the description. A link in the... Yeah. yeah. But Ed is saying, hey, Radiohead is this thing where five people who have separate lives and separate projects need to come together at the same time and say, like, hey, I'm ready to do this. Mm-hmm. And that's how the band is treated. Mm-hmm. So the planets kind of need to align correctly for it to happen. Mm-hmm. And I think when it's not happening... I don't think they really think about it. No, it's like they're doing, yeah, they're all doing projects. They have a lot going on and you can't just be like, okay, so like next year we're going to get together and do Radiohead. It's like, who knows what's going to be happening, but like, it's not that they're all, they're sitting there going, you know, oh, it's too hard. We're not going to, or we're too, too busy. Um, Yeah. I would go so far as to say that I doubt the members even know if there's going to be another album or not. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, I you know, I think the I don't know if it was the same one I was reading with Ed where they basically just said like it's not over but like it it could be. It could be. I mean, we don't know. I think they they have a lot of different projects that are like so adjacent to what Radiohead is. Yeah, it's sort of like the the world of Radiohead kind of really expands you have so much other stuff that tom has done that ed has done that johnny's done colin i guess not so much but (laughs) you know even like phil selway has a couple albums he has this amazing song song called by some miracle listen to that but uh but it's sort of all encompassing right Mm -hmm. even with the, the link of like Most of it has the Stanley Donwood artwork. Most of it has Nigel involved. Yeah. It's sort of like a, oh God, I hate that I'm going to make this metaphor. I know what you're going to say. Almost like a cinematic universe. It is. Yeah, Yeah. I know. I was thinking that earlier. (laughs) Um, But like, we've talked about this before too, is the line between, so, you know, Tom York put out The Eraser. 2006. And then... He put out, uh, then was it Adams for Peace after that? Or was there, there was another solo? Yeah, yeah it was uh, uh, The Eraser. Then they came back for In Rainbows. Um, and after King of Limbs, there was, uh, there was another Tom York solo thing, which was a, a really cool single, Feeling Pulled Apart by Horses on the A side and The Hollow Earth on the B side, which, fun fact, was the first record I ever bought. Um, was that 12 inch and uh, he put together a live band to start playing the solo stuff. And then that became Adams for peace. Mm -hmm. I would have preferred that it all just kind of stay under the nice, neat umbrella of being Tom York. Mm -hmm. Um, So now there's all these other things going on. It starts to get a little messy. It's like there's anima. There's this. Is that how it's said? Mm-hmm. Okay. I think. Anima? Anima. Anima of the state? <laughs> no. Um, uh, and then there's Suspiria soundtrack, you know. Yeah, which like, is like kind of like a solo album, but also a score. 
Yeah. Yeah, there's... It's there's, getting unwieldy. And there's even, like, a weird thing where when he plays Tomorrow's Modern Boxes and some other solo stuff with, like, Nigel and another DJ guy, when they do that live, it's, like, mm-hmm. billed as, like, Tom York's Tomorrow's Modern Boxes. It, it starts to get kind of confusing. <laughs> and now Tom this, York presents. <laughs> yeah. And now that you got the smile going, it's like, well, they play Feeling Pulled Apart by Horses, yeah. but they don't play Radiohead. And so I would love to see them come back together as Radiohead and at least tour. Rebrand everything. It's all just Radiohead. (laughs) It's all Tom York. (laughs) I used to feel that way when it was just the eraser. Yeah. Like, why isn't that Radiohead? Yeah. Because then you look at the, uh, you know, uh, the credits for the eraser and Mm -hmm. it's like, oh, it like has Colin and Johnny and like. Yeah, it has like. Most yeah. of the people it's in like, Radiohead. <laughs> it could have just been a Radiohead record, and it's produced by Nigel. It's the like only King thing of Limbs that... has an extra drummer. Shouldn't that be a different band? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it's. It, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, because, you know, if we're talking Radiohead on the internet, obviously there's going to be people with differing opinions, and we want to hear them, because this band might not put out another album, and I think if they don't, I'm very happy and grateful for their discography um obviously i hope they tour um but i i don't feel like i need another album do you feel like yeah there's so much there's 10 yeah like 10 albums you're never gonna hear even a fraction of the songs you want to hear live (laughs) when you see them and i okay we'll we'll wrap it up on this think just think about this because this is kind of a something I've been thinking about lately. If they do call it quits, say there's no more records, we're going to tour, which I doubt they would even come out and say. Mm -hmm. But if that's the case, we can start getting into some archive releases. That's what I really want. I want to hear like that earlier version of Full Stop or Identikit that they did at like Jack White's studio. Remember like Identikit on the tour for King of Limbs was so cool. Identikit and Full Stop were both like very like uh, synth driven and a little colder Mm -hmm. on the King of Limbs tour kind of sounded more like that record. Right. I was really all in on that sound. And then, you know, they come out in Moonshape Pool, they sound a little more grounded, a little more organic. But that's the kind of stuff I want to come out. I would prefer that to a new record. I want to hear, give it, give it, give me all the extras, all the bonus stuff. I want bonus features, B sides, unreleased stuff, <laughs> studio footage, live DVDs. That's what I want from this band. Yeah. And usually, what I want from a band that's been around that long, I want to start to hear. Because the- there's so much, and especially with a band like them, that they will work on songs for just like over 10 they'll work on it for like decades you know just think of how many versions of true love waits there probably is Mm -hmm. or of morning mr magpie there is Mm -hmm. because there used to be this like little folky acoustic version right or even stuff that never came out like cut a hole that's right i'm talking about cut a hole (laughs) you know i'm you know i'm a i'm a big fan when i'm dropping (laughs) cut a hole that's what i want to hear so that's a positive note that i'm going to leave it on if they're done Give me the archives. This is not every single. I'm Joe. And I'm Stephanie. Tell us what you think. Are they done? Are they kaput? Is the book closed on Radiohead? Have you seen them live? What would you think? Would you like to see them again? Bye. Bye.